How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you with another reaction video on that time I got reincarnated as a slime season 3 episode 0, 0.0. But on the website it does say that this episode or the new season it's going to come out with episode 48.5 which is a kind of um let me say a preview on everything that has happened thus far. So on so in, in some anime website, it's going to say 0, 0.0, and in some areas, it might say 48.5. So this is kind of a prelude, a welcoming uh, introduction for new audience or audience that have watched it but have forgotten little things here and there about the show. So without further ado, let's check out episode 0. 0.5 or 48.5 on that time I got reincarnated as a slime and see what took place now like i said ladies and gentlemen this is not episode one of season three this is season three 0, 0.0 or 48.5 now i just want to do it simply because it's been a while since i have seen uh this show since the second season kind of give me uh, a little bit of um a reminder and get familiar with the names of the characters before the show finally finally kicks off maybe sometime this week or next week and do you guys remember the kamehameha reference towards the ending of season two <laughs> Now, the qu was uh, Milimo, was she freed at the end of season two? Because right now she looks like she's being controlled by um, the other guy. Well, Purgus. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting much of um, anything related to this upcoming season, maybe towards the end of it. You know what I mean? Maybe towards the end, but I'm kind of getting the feel that what we're going to be getting here is kind of um, a prelude or some type of um, incidents and scenes from the previous episodes from the beginning on season one all the way to where we left off on season two. Like I said, I'm not sure if they will be showing 
anything concerning the upcoming season. Maybe they will make some type of a scene in the end, but that's what I'm looking forward to see. And I just wanted to do, you know, to check it out and see what will come of this episode 0. 0.0 or 00, 00 or 48.5. And if I recall, this opening is the same as the last one on season two. Clayman, Demon Lord Clayman, that was his name. The character, the demon character that wanted uh, that fought with Remuru, and had the same voiceover as Dio Bando. Shout out to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure.
And if I'm not mistaken, Remuru did uh, amplify Benimaru's powers and people that follow him, right? He amplified their powers with his own power, right? Oh man, now ladies and gentlemen, this brings memories. This is bringing me a lot of memories, man. The aura of these lords, right? Damn, right in, right in front of all the lords. Yep, that's Dio Brando's voiceover, that's right. Yep, that's proof, all right.
I forgot how this fight went down between uh, Remuru and uh, Milimu. Ooh. Ooh. Sweet. Nani? Ooh. Verdero. <laughs> Veldara. Not Verdero. Veldara. Okay. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, they didn't specify. They didn't specify his attack name. They didn't specify the name when he threw that fireball. Ooh, and then she snaps out of his control, out of um, Clement's control. And that was when Clement lost it. He lost his senses and began to attack anyone that get. Mm. Ooh, I love that is one straight punch. <laughs> he incinerated, he made him vanish.
octagram. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I give my review on this, let me see if there's any extra scenes concerning season three. All right, there isn't much. There isn't any scene towards the end that kind of gives us a little bit of an Easter egg to go with for the next upcoming season, season three. Seeing as to the fact that this episode is episode zero of season three, right? Episode zero of season three. And in some uh, anime website, it will be 48.5. But from where I'm looking at it from, it is season three, episode zero. So starts fire, we got um a rundown on everything that has happened uh from season one out up until season two the last episode and in the end i actually forgot that the demon lords due to the fact that there usually is 10 of them or whatnot but at the end of season two there were only eight of them and they were deciding on what to call themselves you know, they didn't know what to call themselves now that there's only eight of them. So knowing the fact that Remuru is the best of all given names, right? He knows how to name people because he's been the one naming his followers one by one. So he was given the opportunity to give the group of these lords their name, like the name that they all go by. And he thought about it and he gave Octogram. And so in the end, Remuru is now at peace or a correlation between him and his fellow demon lords. Then again, who is going to be the next antagonist? Because the only person that is worthy enough to be, to stand up to Remuru at this point will be his fellow demon lords. But towards the ending of season two, or towards the ending of this episode, he aligned himself with his fellow demon lords. That means they are in correlation. They all work together. They are not working against each other, even though Clement did otherwise. Now, could there be somebody amongst these lords who would want the downfall of Rimuru? Maybe he's not going to show it in front of the other lords, seeing as to how Rimuru was able to dispose of Clement. Right? Because that's the only thing. Or could there be somebody else? Now, there is one person, though, that gave Remuru a run for his money. Uh, that was a battle he had with one holy Christian woman. Or was he, was he a man or something? I forgot who he fought that has the ability to actually, that really has the ability to hurt Remuru well enough that if the fight had continues had continued, the character or the individual would have decimated or hurt Remuru enough to demobilize him forever. You know, I forgot that character. If you guys remember, feel free to let me know in the comment section what character that was. Uh, he or she has uh, a cross, a red, a, a red cross, a white outfit and a red cross design on her crest or his crest. He fought, or he or she fought Remuru, and from the way the battle went, the character had one up on Remuru. Remuru had a hard time 
defending himself against that individual. I forgot who that was. But at this point, there isn't anything that, that at least knowing that this episode came out today, the next episode is going to be next week, possibly on Saturday next week around this time, the same time that this one came out. So I'm wondering, are we going to get the antagonist right away or not? Be there as you may. Thank you guys for joining me. If you're watching the channel for the first time and you have not subscribed, feel free to support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Let me know your thoughts on what you think. Who is going to be the next antagonist? Because at this point, Remuru has, you know, paved the way. A way has been paid for him to go with his own demon, with the, his fellow demon lords. So who is going to be the next antagonist because I don't want season three to be boring. Hopefully it's not going to be boring. There got to be somebody who Remuru is going to have to take on and he was not disclosed on this episode. So how will the next episode be? I just hope that it's not going to be Remuru just building Tempesto and that's it. He's not going to face challenges whatsoever. You know, they ended it on a good note on season two. So I hope that they can keep that up because it has opened up right now we get to see the other demon lords perhaps the ones that are more dangerous than remuru although they did not show the abilities but we would like to see uh you know conflicts and maybe a little bit of challenges and all of that stuff on that note stay safe keep on keeping on see you in the next video